Many of us are getting um, really creative and working with our grade levels to create content. So I wanted to show you three ways that you can share content with others. So I am on one of my pages that I've created. And if I wanna share it with my colleagues, I'm gonna go up here to these three buttons and I have a couple of options. So the first option I'll show you is share to commons. So if I select share to commons, this will add it to our Panama commons. So you have choices over here. You can actually share it with anyone who has um, Canvas, um, but we would probably select um, all of Panama Buena Vista School District, and that would put it in the commons. I can go down here, make sure I title it, I can give it a description, I can give it a hashtag, and this would be an easy way for my grade level to find it. So I might hashtag um, fourth grade heart, and then we would know when we go into commons to look for lessons that we have made, we would search that hashtag. Um, you don't have to use hashtag. You can just uh, say fourth grade heart. And that would be the tag. See, there it is added. Uh, so that's the first way. And then to get that, you would go to commons. You would retrieve it by looking for that assignment. The second thing you can do is send it to somebody. So um, to do this, you would, I would start typing the name of the person I want to send it to. I have lots of options here. I would find whoever I want to send it to, select them. I can select multiple people and then I would send it and then they can add it to their canvas. The third thing I can do is copy to. So to do this option, I can start typing the name of any course. So I start typing, um, maybe it's fourth grade ELA, and I want to copy this over to Fanuki's fourth grade class. To do this last option, you have to be added as a teacher to these classes. You can go ahead and add each other as teachers to your courses. There's no harm in doing that. Um, it, actually, if you don't have access to do that, I can do that for you, so just let me know. But that would be an easy way. So I might choose to copy this to Fanuki's math class. I can select a particular module. So maybe I want to add it to her week five. And uh, where do I want it? I'll probably just put it at the bottom and then she can position it wherever she wants. So those are three, um, oops, let's not add this to Fanuki's class, three easy ways that you can start to share content with your colleagues.